good. Good. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, good evening, good evening. I hope you can hear me, you can see me. Waiting for those comments, <clears throat> waiting for those confirmation that we are all well, we are all set. Waiting for those comments. <coughs> Waiting for those comments. Tag, 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 tag. Tag, tag, tag. Tag your friends. Bring them on. This is a great night. Awesome. Great. <coughs> Jesse, welcome. <laughs> ah, good to see you. Hey, hey. Thank you, Baba. I love a joke to Shikamoto. Jesse, Jesse. Hey, hey. <laughs> My brother, Siyashi Moto, Ukuta Fadali. <laughs> we need peace, we need peace, we need peace. Thank you for coming. God bless you. <laughs> ah, amazing. Hey. Uh, to YouTube and then to come and then to come kama to <coughs> uh, to me and show what to YouTube kama wako sour. Oh, great. Mm. Okay. Uh, YouTube wako sawa. YouTube wako sawa. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, inakuja inakuja sound iko sawa watu wangu sound iko sawa is sound okay is sound okay i'm waiting for someone just to say it is okay yes nyokabi karibu sana uh, Maureen Favored, Karibu Sana, Anne, Karibu Sana, Jesse, Karibu Sana. Ikosawa? Someone tell us how is the sound. Sound, 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 sound. So, Jesse, you can again. Ibu ni ambie kama sound ikosawa. Sound ikosawa? Sound ikosawa. Very good. Thank you. Great. Um, we can start uh, tonight's show and want to welcome you, uh, my viewers, my family, my fans, for always tuning in um, in this show, The Well Show, where we build one another, where we encourage one another, uh, when we make um, a covenant of walking together in this life, uh, because this life you can't walk alone. And I remember last week we were talking about the uns. Um, 
and 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 just for a recap we talked about a number of owns that we are finding ourselves in and i was i remember i was finishing about the financial owns you know those owns that we have because probably uh, we cannot meet our financial obligations either probably um whatever we are getting and the demand is high and of course we always say in life that money will never be enough do you know do you know there will always be a limited surplus uh, supply of money with high demand of expenditure but said and done we also need to manage ourselves so that we don't keep ourselves you know in those pain situation those owns um and, and see how we can be able to adjust and 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 that that was very clear and i said that we need to face our life with the reality we need to see what we can be able to meet and where we need to change and tonight we want to look at how can we be able to heal these owns whether they are family owns whether they are you know the owns within the owns that we have cost ourselves because also ourselves we have cost ourselves some unnecessary pain you know putting ourselves to unnecessary competition putting ourselves to situations whereby uh, probably in the first place they were not called for and 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 also we talked about you know the social um wounds that we have gone through now tonight we want to see because we have established we are not okay and we said we cannot continue faking it fake it until you make it huh? but we need at the end of the day before you make it you know reality will catch up with you and it will be too late how, how can we be able to change and live a real a realistic life so that at the end of the day we'll be able to say i know where i am i'm aware of my life i know where i need to to change and that's what we'll be discussing tonight how can you be able to heal the wounds that we have gone through and and i want to start by saying this the best or the first place of healing is a place of first evaluating yourself evaluate yourself ask yourself how did i find myself here how did i myself in this situation how did i find myself in this pain how did i find myself because unless you evaluate yourself you never be able to move or to progress so the first place is nikaulem sem gonjo na sema sem gonjo it it you must be able to evaluate yourself this is not the way i was feeling this is not how i was reacting to situation because if you want to know that you have owns within and majority of the time when we are talking about these owns the emotional owns the psychological owns sika matuzi leave no napata ng accident tunaizaona those owns are in our mind they are in our hearts and basically if you want to know signs of guys who have owns or those people probably they are bleeding within number one, you'll be able to realize either there are people who at a given time they withdrew themselves from the social you know from the social um, circles uh, you find our tax story mob now are say they want to live their life if it's a colleague and a talk a job and end a home kitambo probably could be able to hang around you start realizing these people have a drastic change huh? and is not towards the positive it's towards the negative you'll also realize these people probably they have become hot tempered huh? or make what too bitter with from nowhere you know they're talking with high tone you know they're banging things so you'll be able to realize these people are not okay so at that particular moment when you start finding you have these signs you you know some becomes you know become don't care they don't care what people say they don't care how they dress they don't care how they eat you know because they have gotten to a place and they're like mm, this is mess make up there is no problem continue making mess huh? so those are some of the signs and elements will show you that this person is not okay and what you need to do before you go to the extreme it's a place where you need to call a a meeting and evaluate yourself evaluate yourself in all angles in the place of either um there are things that you're doing that are not right there are things that you used to do that were okay and you're not doing them now and how can you be able to move to the next stage so the first place of healing it's calling yourself a meeting and be able to evaluate yourself and be honest with yourself if you're not okay it is okay not to be okay it is okay to feel pain it is okay for you to cry it is okay for you do you know to see somewhere and shout because that is the first place of healing the place of healing is not saying you're okay and you're not okay you know let's let's stop this thing of you know mr perfect mr okay mr sour because that is, that has become the cliche of today's life everyone kimuliza ukwaje niko poa ukwaje niko sawa and you know you are not okay you are not okay so you need to evaluate yourself 
And I have always said this. We have no substitute of your life. We have no substitute of you. You're the only person who can live that life. So don't live like you have another life tomorrow. So you need to sit down tonight and evaluate yourself. See the wounds that you're carrying. See the things that you have gone through. So now you can be able to move to the next stage. So I've said stage number one, evaluate yourself. And be honest with yourself. Be real with yourself. Don't fake it. Don't try to be who you are not. You know, because majority of the time you're able to show people who we are not. And we know, and I remember I said last week, uh, there are people who get into their bedroom. There are people who get into their closet and they can cry the whole night because you see them, they're okay because of how they are dressed. But within them, they are crying. Evaluate yourself and be honest with yourself. Number two, accept the situation you are in. Accept the situation you are in. Once you have evaluated yourself, umeju, I'm in a mess. Don't deny. Because the moment you continue denying, you're postponing the, you know, the starting point of your healing. So you need to accept that this is my current situation, this is my financial situation, this is my relationship with my family members, this is my situation with my friends, it is not okay, I need to start working on some area. You have to accept. And the hardest thing in a human being is accepting when things are not okay. And I remember I said here, majority of us, most when it comes to the financial wounds, it is us not accepting where we are. If you're earning 30,000 and probably your needs are 50, 60,000, I'm telling you, if you don't adjust, if you don't accept, you cannot meet, you cannot meet your obligation and be able to see what you're going to call in the next thing about adjusting. Uh, you'll always keep crying. You'll always, you know, uh, not facing your reality. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying you need to accept where you are. Accept where you are. If you have issues with your family members, don't assume it's okay. Don't assume because assumption is the worst problem we have. And majority of people, they, you know, we solve things by assuming, which is not the best way. Sometimes it's okay, but we need to get to a place whereby that have accepted. This is where I am today. I'm not okay financially. I'm not okay socially. I'm not okay spiritually. Accept that way you are. We have said in this show, we'll never fake it. We'll say it as it is. Come on, kona madeni. Kubali kona madeni. Come on, you call job. Accept a you call job. There are guys who are not working, but they have always been telling their families they are working. So at every end of month, the families are calling you and they want, you you know, probably financial support. And you have to borrow so that you don't face your ear. You don't want to tell people the truth. It is always good also even to tell people, like, do you know what? Me, I'm not okay. Because the worst thing that you can do is being ashamed of what you're going through. And thinking people never know. You know, it's better people to know what you're going through and get help. Rather than, you know, keep quiet, continue keeping quiet, and you're messing up with yourself. So you need to accept where you are. You need to face that situation where you are tonight. That, that's how we'll start healing those wounds. You cannot cover them. You cannot cover them. Your relationship is not working, but you want to show people it is okay. You know, we, we have to show people it's okay. And it is not okay. And you know it is not okay. And it is draining you. It's pulling you down. Because the moment you deny it is not okay, what will happen is you are not going to develop strategy to deal with it. Because there are things that you never change. But you know how to approach them from a positive angle. So you accept that's where we are. That's where we are pushing things. Then once you accept, what do you do? Now you move to the stage number three. Remember I said stage number one for you to heal your wounds. You need to evaluate yourself. Then you need to sit down and accept that where you are and face your reality, face the things as they are. You know, that is accept them. You know, you accept that your family are not in your support. Your family are not there for you. You know you stood with them. They are not there for you. Accept. Don't deny they will come through for you and they will not. You see, you know, I have my father who will come for me. And probably, you know, they are going to come. Face it. Accept it as it is. Then go to point number three. Adjust. And kindly here, we need to adjust. We need to adjust. And adjustment is the best thing in life. Into bracket, we need to change. And adjusting is saying, I have faced my reality. I have faced battles. But I have come now to adjust and know for me to continue living a purposeful life, there are things that are going to change. And here I'm going to mention about four things and kindly move with me very slowly. Number one, in the place of adjusting, 
One thing that you develop is knowing what is worth to give attention. In adjustments, you need to know. Because, you know, majority of us have been going through, it's like a roller coaster. You go through the same thing. After this season, you're back into it. You're going to make two steps, you're going to make another one. It's like there are people who have always been fighting with their family members. And they don't ask themselves, well, how can I deal with this thing differently? Then I say, in adjusting number one, you need to know what, you know, what is worth your attention. What is worth your energy. There are things in your life you need to stop fighting for. There are guys in your life you need to tell them, pack and leave my life. If they can't, no, if they can't leave, please leave them. Their relationship you need to kill them because you continue with those relationships, you continue draining yourself. You keep hurting yourself. You keep messing up with yourself. You know, the, you need, uh, in the place of adjustment is a place of putting working strategy, is putting working, you know, uh, framework. Because remember we have said time and again, this is your life. You are the CEO of your life. You manage it. Either you build it or you crush it. At the end of the day, it is your life. And that's what I'm saying. You need to adjust. And I've said adjustment, one thing that you need to do, you need to weigh and know what is worth. It is not all family meetings are called that you attend. There are, fam there are guys who have gone for family meetings and they have left those family meetings wounded, crying, you know, regretting. It's not all coffee meetings you are called and you show up. It is not only phone calls they are called. If you know that phone call will make you cry, mm -mm, you need to know. What am I supposed to give attention? And you're giving attention based on the strength that you're carrying within. It's not everything you're called for that you'll show for. It's not every meeting you're called for that you're going to show for. Because you know, by the time I'm leaving that meeting, I'll be worse. Start evaluating that place of, for you to adjust, you know, this one I cannot do. Number two, in the place of adjustment, there are things you need to start learning and acquiring. Whether they are character, whether they are things that will help you, whether it is, do you know, it is a skill that you need to learn, um, whether it is uh, something that you need to inquire, you know, to, to acquire so that it will help you. For example, if you know that you have an issue with, you know, managing your emotions, you start now to start that path of seeing how can I become more emotional intelligence? How can I be more aware of my emotions? How can I be able to deal with my things without hurting myself so much? How can I get to a place of letting things go? Because sometimes we hold things for so much we hold them dearly and they continue hurting us in that place of um do you know where i was hurt i didn't like how i was treated but you know what i'm not going to continue being a slave of my past you need to learn how to do you know how to grow yourself you need to know what are the things that are worth to put into your mind what are worth things that are worth to put into your heart you listening to guys they're still holding to things of 20 to you know 2010 20 uh, 2000 and they can narrate like it happened yesterday it's okay but you know what in the same store that you have put all those bad memories you just need to erase so that you create a capacity to develop more memories or to you know to be able to store more memories that will give you energy to move on with life you cannot continue hurting yourself by what they did to you yes of course they did then if we cannot change how do we progress you know that is in the place of adjustment is facing your reality and seeing yes i think i need to give myself time if I need to go and see a therapist, if I need to have a friend I can share and start that place of letting it go. They hurt you. At the same time, you're pretending you're not hurt and you still meet these people. You need to adjust and show them who you are and show them, mm, do you know what, guys? This is the boundary. We are brothers, we are sisters, but I cannot go into entertain you talking ill you know, in my presence. I cannot allow you to, you know, pour cold water on me when I'm there. Mm -mm, I can't. I can't. You know, you need to show people in the place of adjustment. You are stand. Your principles. It's very important. There are guys who say, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. You need life. Take control. Take control. You cannot wait someone there, you know, they're messing up with you and you're just watching, you know, 
climb fall who, who is going to help me you need to understand it is your life so in the place of adjusting learn if you don't have those skills learn if you don't have those characters learn do you know a character to be firm when you say no it is no there are guys who have caused people to cry because of you know they keep borrowing you money and you never say no they ask you money today, you send. They ask you money tomorrow, you send. Staki kum hurt, staki kum lose. And then at the end of the day, if you count the match that you have given this person and the value, either, either in kind or in finance, that they reciprocate to you, it is almost to nothing. It is almost to nothing. There are places when you tell people, mm, I don't have money. There are places whereby that I have money but I'm not giving you. I've given you first time, second time, and you don't pay. Number two, I don't see what you do with your money. Mm -mm. There are places where you adjust and you become firm with your life. There are ladies who have been messed up by men. And you cannot say, mm -mm, no, this relationship, I'm done with it. At intamumiza. If you come out of Mumiza, at a Kumiza. And sometimes you need to be a bit jealous. You need to, you know, um, uh, get to a place of protecting yourself. I always tell people, I wish people know how much it have costed to build you. I wish you'll also sit down and calculate the costs of where you are today. If you'll be able to calculate that cost, it will help you to guard jealously what you're carrying. That you cannot let any person just come in and break it. The place of adjustment, you need to be firm. When you say no, people need to know it is a no. When you say yes, people need to know yes. So that people are not going to take your yes and interpret it no. Mm -mm. It's a place of adjusting yourself. Being real with yourself and knowing you are being charged. It's like sitting on the driver's seat. And now you're driving your life. You don't start, you know, when you're the driver. You don't, you know the rule of that load. So you, you do, and you know the stages. You don't keep standing everywhere. You know, you stand where it's that designated place for you to stand. That's the whole thing about taking charge of your life. It's not everybody who wants to come into your life, they come in. Like where, they tell you stop, you stop. Mm -mm. You know, you, where life happens, I to my emergency break. Every time my emergency break. Because you have to give people a lot of attention. Sato kuapi, unipeleke play. Sato kuapi. At the end of the day, you get drained. And the moment when you need them, they are nowhere to be. They are those guys who have sacrificed like everything for their family. And the moment you need the help from them, they are nowhere to be. And then wananza kukuliza uli kuapi, kwanya ukujipanga, kwanya ukuona jua. Do you know, sometimes when you look at life, I'm telling you, you'll get this night and stand and know, yes, I'm going to help people, but where I cannot, mm -mm. I know I'm there to make other people better, but I know this is my life. First thing, it is me. You can't give what you don't have. Always you can't give what you don't have. And the whole night you are crying because of some people out there who probably even whatever they ask you, they are... Do you know, they're sleeping well. You need to take that driver's seat and understand the rules of driving because it is your life. You don't stand everywhere. You don't accommodate everybody. There are people who tell them, you're good guys, but you don't meet my standards. In that place of building standard, my friend, it will help you to avoid getting in and out of wounds. You'll know. But then let me tell you, the moment you have invested so much on knowing yourself, even at workplace, those guys, they will know how they can talk to you. At a boss, mwenye anajua, this worker anakuwa gaivi, anapinanga kazi yake ikuwe hivi. If you don't define yourself, people will define you, and they will define you based on how they view you. Tonight, the place of adjustment, you need to be firm. Are we together, guys? You need to acquire skills if you don't have them. You need to a place of standing and saying, there are things I will let go. The place of number four in area of adjustment, you need to rearrange your life. You need to rearrange your life. And when I talk about rearranging yourself, there's one thing I want to tell you, and this one thing has helped me. Don't, pre don't be predictable. Uskwem say predictable, that guys, they know you. They actually know all your moves. They know even the next business you want to start. They even know how much you earn. Sometimes, don't be too quick to talk. Don't be too quick to share. Do you know, the place where you need to hold. 
There are places where you need to do things. Let people see results. What you say, wash na gazile za, eh, by the way, shingiaje. Kumeshaka una kuangaji. Because majority of the wounds we have, and I can tell you, if you were to have a conference and discuss, it, the people that have messed us is because we opened so much for them. We gave so much information about us. So they know where to hit. Our family, they know how much we earn. So if you don't give them to a certain level, it's not everything that you keep sharing. You need to rearrange and know what to hold. You know what to hold back. You know what to share. And let me tell you, always, before you say anything, first, do you know, test the spirit of the person you want to open your mouth and talk to, whether they can be able to handle whatever you want to say. Number two, you also need to evaluate, you know, the person you're about to share, whatever you want to share to them. Can they be able to handle your, your mind? Can they be able to handle your idea? Can they be able to internalize it and also be able to, um, to support you what you're, what you're about to do? It's not everything you, you know, you keep telling people. You need to learn what to hold. What I say, what I get to our joy, what I, my shengine pati I say suspense in your life. Ikwe ni kama movie. Don't be too plain. Mfea na kujua in and out. They know you. Ah ah, ah ah. Kama ta ku avoid some wounds in this life, you need to hold some information. Kuna mse tu na kagaivi na shangala shino life yako na kuangaji. Because the much you give, I'm telling you, it's a place of risking. It's a match that those guys, they were to hit back. They will hit you back. As much as we are living in a global society, you'll get people in the social media kuna waseme kwa bullied. And they're not bullied because of anything. No one enda kujianika. No one enda kwa mbiwa sesu yume enda Mombasa. And these guys will, you know, they will throw all things. It's not everything that you put in the social media. My friend, guys, you need to know it's not everyone you go telling them you're buying a new car. And probably you're buying a new car. They are like men soon after 3K. Now, if we imagine some could share 3K, not a job done alone. But if you don't give them the 3K, they'll talk ill about you, but they don't know what you're going through. Sometimes surprise people in life. Now, Kigej was and majority I'm telling you for free. I'm telling you, out of 10 guys you are sharing with them what you want to do, eight of them, they'll never take it positive. They are like, mm, acha tuone. Probably there are two people who will be able to pray with you or pray with you whatever you want to do. So if you want to protect yourself, guard your heart and your mind from being hurt, from being wounded now and then, learn to hold back. Learn to rearrange. If people expect you to come in this format, wanashtukia umekamisa idingine. When guys are expecting you're not going to give anything, unawapatia. Sasa wana expect una wapatia unaambia hey boss si kuzuri. You need to make sure that your life is not predictable. Guys, they don't need to calculate your move. It is wisdom. And I'm telling you apply this wisdom, it will take you places. When you're going back to school, you know even have to tell people, wacha ona graduation photos wana shindo eh ulienda shule aji. Wengine wasaona kwa gapo hivi kwa boot vision za wase. That's what they are waiting for. You tell them, they are like, they start cancelling. Because there are guys who never want you to progress. And those are the majority of the people. The guys who know very well you want to build. Your land unenda ku build. Maybe it's family members. Unasikia meenza kusema story. Oh, do your land. Ndotuanza ku subdivide. Because ome di wata kujenga. Na kitambo ikuwa story kwa familia. I know someone can, can be able to, you know, attest to this. Mmetulia tu vizuri vi familia, no problem. But the moment you start shooting, it's like, oh, we need to divide the land. And they're not doing anything because they want their piece of land. It's because they want to delay. They want to make sure they delay your move. My friend, surprise people. I hope you underline that. Let me check um, what you're doing before we go to point number four. Ah, uh, good, 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 good. What says your comment is may come. Mm. Thank you. Evaluate. Accept. Hi, Beth. Karibu sana. Hi, Sam. Mm. Thank you. Uh, Maureen Asema. Honestly, the life coach, this topic that needs a uh, loud speak, uh, loud microphone. Yeah, yeah, Kabisa. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. 
you 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 have to take charge of your life if not so guys are going to throw you right left and center jesse rasikia si kila msona ambia tuna plan wedding utapata demo amepitwa na yeye so you need to know what to see and what to give attention are we together good so i was talking at the place of adjusting your life and rearranging your life now When I talk about rearranging, this is something that you need to be de uh, deliberate about it. And uh, remember we talked last week about the wounds we have caused ourselves. And rearranging is be able to face your life with priorities. If something is not urgent and is important, see how well can you be able because unapata mseme mkasbui and they have gone and spend a, do you know a huge chunk of finance of their finances with something now that thing you ask yourself yes i have probably bought a suit but i have not paid rent what will happen is suit is good but rent is important and urgent because ukimit na landlord akufungie mlango utaza kupata tu stress zingine ataki kuongelea shawase si ati ukuwa na do it's only that you never rearranged your priorities It's like you're taking kids to school this beginning of this term but three weeks no na job based on your finances you are all over do you know moving from one city to the other and then comes at the beginning of the term and you're like man autaki wonge na say you need to rearrange and face the you know face your life with a reality a place where you'll be able to say this is good yes but there is what is right for now Something might be good but is not right for now. So we need to have the principle which is good and what is right. And what is, is right will always carry the day above what is good. There are place of rearranging yourself so that you avoid hurting yourself. A lot of embarrassment we put ourselves. Imagine mefungiwa hao. Imagine mefukuziwa watoi shule and probably not that you're in that situation where you don't have you don't have is because at somewhere you made the wrong decision. And I'm I'm saying this we need to face our life with the reality. We need to do things that can be able to push us to be better people. Majority of people will talk about mental health, about stress and depression. If you trace them down, their place where they made the wrong decision. Their place where they made the wrong decision. And I pray tonight we'll be able to face it right so that we'll be able to move on. Then once you have evaluated yourself, you have accepted how things are, then you have adjusted yourself and then from there you need to advance. You need to advance. And advancement is moving forward. Boss la maisha lazima yendele. Whether uko na do ama hauna, life has to move on. Life has to move on. Whether they hate you, whether they your brothers they hate you, whether they don't call you, whether they don't see you, whether they don't call you for a meeting, whether they don't appreciate you, I'm telling you life have to move on. So you need to know how do I advance from my realities? How do I move on with the same problems that probably the ones that I cannot be able to solve now? How do I move on with them? Advancement is the most important thing. Because guys or mefka place or mestagnate probably you dated a guy for two years akakuacha na ukasema uta i date tena my friend uspot date au mizi mwenye muliachana na yeye ni una jiumiza ni place advancement ni place kujua yes this is what happened i'm more cautious i'm more serious with my life but my life has to move on because seen and done one person hurting you doesn't mean the whole world has do you know it's against you one person rejecting you doesn't mean the whole world has rejected you you have to learn how to advance you must have you must learn how to copy the your situation because seen and done umefutwa job at as long as you're breathing as long as you're breathing my my sister you need to know you have to move on eh aujali parent but you have to move on the place of advancing is the most important thing picking yourself the power of a man is not how long you can stand but the power of a man is you know is determined by how fast you can be able to arise when you fall down and move on Your power is not you know your power is not running away from the things that can hurt you your power is be able to know this can hurt me and i can be able to deal with it the place of advancement umeskia mses juli alianza job ikaisha akasema hata ifungua tena ikisha leo amka kesho fungua tena umelearn lesson 
you have to move on. If you call your brothers and they're not supporting you, please don't run away from them. Just know how to live with them. No level engagement and you talk wapi. So that you can be able to lower your expectation so that also you can lower the level of you being hurt by them. You must have coping strategies and have said, if you have to move on, you need to realize one thing, that when you continue sitting down there, time waits for no man. Eh, eh. At the end of the day, you'll have to fix your life. So the sooner you wake up, the sooner you face your reality and advance, better for you. Better for you. At uki es, uki acho na leo siku moja unamuko na jipanguzo na na life. Uki fitu wa job siku jifungia kwa hawa tistoki hapa. What will happen with my life? If you're not dead, it's a reason for you to waking up in the morning. If you are hurt today, cry for two days, Wake up the third day and face the reality. We need to advance. We need to grow ourselves. I always say this. The things that we have gone through, they're supposed to prepare us to face our future with better understanding, with better oof, with better energies because we know what we can stand for. Our energy has been tested. Our patience has been tested. You know, our, our character has been tested. So you know what you can handle. You know what you can handle. And I always and have said many times that any mess you have gone through, you take it positive, it will always give you a message for tomorrow. A place of reference. A place where you can fall back and say, I was able to overcome this, I can be able to overcome this. And, 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 and I remember I saw this and it was very powerful. That there is nothing as powerful like a man who had enough time talking to themselves or a, a woman who has enough time talking enough time talking to herself that person i want to tell you they had a conversation about where they are coming they had a conversation of where they are going my sister my brother learn to have a concrete conversation with yourself you see yourself beautiful energetic blessed move on with life by the way, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to pay rent. I'm going to pay for my school fees. I'm going to say, so you don't brand yourself with your problem. Don't hang your problem everywhere. Mm -mm. You need to dust yourself and move on. You need no one will. Do you know? No one will know whether your sisters are not talking to you. No one will, unless you tell them. And I have said, it's not everything you go talking about. By the way, that person you want to tell them about your problem, they also have their own problem. So the place of advancing is being positive about your life. This is your life. Guys will throw stones. Guys are going to judge you based on how you look. Guys are going to, do you know, um, judge you. Uh, do you know, put some um, labels on you. But you know what? That is them at the end of the day. And those are human beings. It is you moving forward with life. And as I finish, I want to say this. For you to be able to move forward. Please mark these three things. Number one, own up your life. Don't live your life for other people. Own up. Know that when you mess, it's your mess. When you benefit, it's your benefit. Own up your life. And the moment you own up your life, you'll take care of yourself. You'll not be so hard on yourself. When this doesn't work, you'll be able to shift and go towards something else that is working. When this one fails, you'll keep moving on. Because one thing that you need to understand that this life will always test you. This life will always knock you hard. So you need to be prepared that I'm living my life and I'm not ready to accommodate anything like giving up. If you want to heal from those wounds, is a place where by that you're already prepared. When guys are throwing stones, you are prepared they were to throw stones. The moment you are prepared of what might happen in your life, it helps you to deal with what will come out. Learn to live this life like it is yours. And by the not like it is yours, it's not someone else's life. It's not your husband's life. It is not your children's life. It is not your parents' life. It is not your boss's life. It is your life. Learn to move on. When you fail, wake up, dust yourself, take yourself for a coffee. Do you know? Have a conversation with yourself. See where you need to change. See where you need to grow yourself. Then from there, move on. Number two, and very important, allow yourself 
to go through the pain. Remember we said this, not all pains are bad. There are some necessary pain that you need to go through. There are some people who need to borrow you money at this age, at this time, so that you know how to deal with people and money. At this time, you need to know how to deal with people. There are people who will cause you some pain so that you can learn how to deal with your future. So allow yourself that pain that you have gone through today. Take it positively. Learn from it. It will help you. It will package you better to face your future. Some guys, they have thrown out pain without taking the lesson. The moment you learn that thing, when you fail in business, take it positively and ask yourself, probably I was not serious with business. Probably I, was not, um, I, I didn't have skills about finances. Probably my customer care was not okay. Probably I didn't know how to manage time well. The moment you take it positively, you're going to learn how you're going to face the next phase of your life, how you're going to face it better next time. Not all pain are bad. Some pain are very important. When you go to, um, to labor wards, when you go to a maternity, that pain is the most... I, okay, let precise say, because ladies will say I don't know, but I'm trying to imagine it is one of the most painful places. But a woman cannot hold, cannot run away from that pain, because if they hold that pain, they're going to destroy a life. If they don't release that pain, if they don't allow themselves to go that pain, they'll never carry a baby. Some of us, they need to understand the place of being quiet when we are going through pain. Because there's some pain will shape you. There's some pain will build you. There's some pain will shape your mouth. There's some pain will shape your thinking capacity. There's some pain you need to go through. There's some guys need to be fired. And I'm saying this. <laughs> I know. There are some guys who need to be fired so that they can unlock what they're carrying. There are guys walking around here and they are business owners. They are multi-billionaire, do you know, guys. But they are still, do you know, struggling in life because they don't want to face that pain of saying, I quit my job. There are guys who are brilliant only because they don't want to fear, or rather they are fearing that pain of starting. Not all pain is wrong. If you want to advance in life, there's some pain you have to face. For you to go to the next stage, there's some pain you need to go through. And I'm praying tonight that someone will say, I'm ready to face my pain. There is that a project you want to start. For 10 years you have not started because you are like, man, I'm ready for this. Either psychological pain, either financial pain, either social pain. That pain that you are running away, it is hindering you to enjoy what you are carrying. And I want to push you tonight. Do you know, get into it. Face it. Feel the pain like a man in the labor. But for a short while, you'll celebrate. If someone will say, I'm stepping out boldly and I'm going to face my fears. I'm stepping boldly and tomorrow I'm going to package differently. I'm stepping out and tomorrow I'm going to offer myself for something else. I'm stepping out and tomorrow I'm ready to start again. I, I, I wish there's someone who is saying, that is me. That is me. That tomorrow, for me to advance, I must be able to face this pain. The last thing for you to advance, and I remember I said this when we were talking about building up backup system. You'll never advance in life when you don't surround yourself with like-minded people. You need guys who understand that you are wounded and they need to nurse you. You are wounded and there are people who need to bandage you. You need to have few guys who can bandage you. Their wounds, their place where you don't, you can't go alone. They are a place where you need to surround yourself with guys who understand, man, this guy is bleeding within and we need to carry him. Look at the guys, look at the soldiers, the military when they go into their, into their you know, they go to, to battle. And one thing, one of their principles is that I cover you, you cover me. That's why the issue of covering comes in. They know how to cover one another. 
As much as they are dealing with the enemy, they also know they also know that I have an obligation of covering my you know my comrades. You need to have your comrades, guys who can be able to pick you up, guys who can give you hands because the place of healing is not easy. You know, losing a job, that adjustment is not easy. You need guys who to tell you, don't worry, we're going to walk alone. They can give you insight. Unajokuna place there's somewhere you get into life, even you you feel like you are not thinking. You feel like I couldn't do work. At that particular moment, you need guys who can lend their brain to you and think on your behalf. You need, you never advance in life when you have no surrounded with guys. Mm -mm. Men, this life you cannot run away. You need two or three guys who at a given period of time, they'll be able to give you a hand and tell it, okay, it is time for you to cry. Then you'll cry. I'm very sure you cannot wash an wound when you're when you're laughing. It's, it's painful. It's painful. At that particular moment, you need guys to tell you it's okay. It's okay. When this with you, not everybody, but few guys who are ready to you know to handle your shame, are ready to listen to your shit and shame. The guys who will be able to listen to you and they not be judgmental. They'll be like, okay, okay, because there are time in life where you don't need sense. You know, you don't need sense. At that particular moment, when you have invested in something, then shh, it goes down. At that particular moment, there is no any power of reasoning can help you. There is a one or two days when you need to just look at things in a crazy manner, cry. That moment, you need guys who can hold your hands. If you need to advance, you need to have guys who can hold your hands. You need guys who can stand with you, guys who can encourage you, guys who can be there for you, and they're not talking. They're just looking at you. They're just there for you because that there are moments where words can make sense, knowledge can't make sense, encouragement cannot make sense. They are that particular moment. And what you just need is guy to give you that safe space, just watching you. You don't hurt yourself. Then after that, they will tell you, I think we have cried enough. We need to move on. And that is my prayer that as we are building the well show, we are going to have those guys who can stand for us. Guys who can be able to be there for us when we need them. And they are not going just to see our weakness, but also they will be able to help us to cover our weakness. Guys who are not going to expose us, but guys who are going to cover us. Not guys who are going to step on us, but guys who can be able to give us a hand to step on. I pray tonight God will help us to realize those kind of guys. Thank you, guys. Make sure tonight you'll sit down and face your wounds, face your hearts, face your bitterness as they are. Evaluate yourself and be genuine with yourself. Accept the stage where you are. Accept the face where you are. Once you accept, kindly adjust. Change your, your perception. Change your mind framework. Shift if need be. Whether behavioral, whether mental, you need to have a shift in your life. And then from there know that life has to move on. You need to advance. You need to move on. Let me see um, what is here. I can see great people here. Wow. Eric. Ah, I can see Eric here. Thank you so much. Beatrice. Naona umena waita kabisa hapa kabisa. Carolina. Washira. Thank you for coming in. My sister, Glado. Eh, kuwa maju. I hope you wisdom in ingia vizuri. Hey Monica, thank you so much for coming in. Hey, wase leo me mumeletana kabisa. Tunashukuru. This is great. This is great, guys. Uh, I'm humbled. I'm humbled. Humbled, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Well said. Hey, dust yourself and move on. Beatrice, in life, lazima to move on. Unaanguka, unamkasubui, unajipaka mafuta, unalia kidogo. Unaendelea because eh, akuna kitupua inatokujanga tu hivyo. There is a price to pay and, and we have always to do that. So dust yourself and move on. Yes. Uh, thank you, Monica. God bless you. God bless you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see you guys. Uh, Jesse. Thank you so much. God bless you. 
Ah, this was amazing. This is amazing. Yes, you have to accept where you are so that you can be able to move to the next stage. So, guys, thank you so much. I bless the Lord for tonight. May you sit down and evaluate yourself. See uh, how you're going to adjust yourself, how you're going to build yourself better so that every time we come in this show, we'll always have a testimony to give that you're building ourselves, we are becoming better, um, we are shifting where we were, and we are able to hold one another accountable. So thank you so much, and God bless you. I love you. Always keep The Well Show every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30. Tag your friends. Tag your relatives. They need this wisdom. We need to grow together. So I, I, I'm, I'm counting on you to make this show bigger, better. Um, every time we come, we need to have new friends coming in. Like I know last week we didn't have Monica. So Monica, thank you. Um, last week we didn't have Glado. Glado is in. Thank you so much. I saw Eric. Eric was not here last week. Thank you. And this is what we need. So let's keep uh, tagging uh, those guys to come in. Last week we didn't have Jesse and Jesse to talk funny quite prefect and was gonna make noise. So welcome so much guys. Let's keep doing these. Uh, Maureen, thank you. Maureen from Nyanyuki. Make sure those guys from Nyanyuki they are well represented. Bring them on board. Bring them on. Tag them. Watch out to Patine Wisdom. To pay what to Kabisa. Hadasa, make sure next week you are here so that uh, we can be able to build this show. We want to make it bigger, better, and best. A place where we can always grow Pamoja. Otherwise, thank you so much. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. See you next week on Thursday. Keep it tuned at The Well Show.